What's going on YouTube? Mage Jeff one three here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy, basic bo bobber fishing setup that anyone can do. And I'm not going to waste any time, and let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the supplies you're going to need are a small hook. The hook size may vary depending on the species you're fishing for. And in my case, I'm fishing for just the typical freshwater fish, which are bluegill, perch, and bass, crappie, and all those other panfish and stuff like that. So I'm using a size 6 hook as I believe this is the perfect size for these fish. Uh, you could go a little bit smaller for the bluegill and stuff, but in my case I'm using a size 6 hook. The next thing you'll need is a small clip-on weight. But the size of the weight also varies because um, you don't want something too heavy that's uh, heavy, that's too heavy for the bobber and uh, you want to make sure that the bobber is going to stay afloat perfectly over the water. Now I'm holding two different kinds of bobbers. Um, one is the traditional bobber that I see everyone using and one of these kind. I don't know the specific names of them but we're just going to call them bobbers. And uh, both will work. Uh, I recommend these ones are here. These ones that look like this. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart for a dollar. I bought this one for a dollar at Walmart. And uh, the reason why I like these more is because it's easier to tell if you have a fish biting or not, but either way you're going to tell with either bobber, and both will work in this case. And also one more thing, something to cut the line with, I'm just using these little clippers right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, show you how to do this. Now you're going to want to go ahead and take your fishing rod and run your line through the loops. And you're ready for the next step. Alright, now for the next step. From the line that's running from your reel through your rod, you want to take your hook and you want to go ahead and uh, tie the line onto the hook. Now make sure when you're placing your line through the actual hook, you place it this way instead of the other way. And what you want to do next is you want to run the line across the hook like so. And then the part where the hook curves, you want to align, or you want to uh, align the line against the hook, kind of making your own hook. And it should look something like this. You see how like the line's going with the hook. And you want to take this line that's sticking out, and this part gets a little tricky. Make sure to pinch this part where the hook curves with the line, like pinch it together like this. And you want to take this line and you want to start wrapping around the base of the hook and you want to do this about seven times now once you got done with that and you ran the line around the hook still keeping your fingers pinched you let go and you see how there, there's this loop now um, you want to take the line that's uh, that's sticking out and run it through that hole. And then what you want to do is go ahead, let go, hold on to the main line, hold on to the line sticking out, and just pull. Now you see because this hook has the uh, little uh, uh, thing sticking out, I'm just gonna call them like thorns, whatever. Um, you want to. Uh, take this line and take the hook and just pull down and then There you go. The hook is now tied onto there Now with that line sticking out you can just go ahead and pinch it off When you pinch it make sure you do it to where you have just a little bit of line sticking out so that way when uh, uh, You get a fish or you snag on something and it pulls uh, Some of the line will just go back into there, but it'll stay like that and yeah, now you're ready for the next step. Alright, now you're ready to place on your weight. Um, from the hook, you want to go about one to two feet down on your line. And I'm going to do about one and a half. And you want to pinch the weight on onto your hook. And for extra security reasons, I'm going to take pliers and pinch the weight more better on there. I just like to do this just to make sure the weight won't slide around and make sure it's secured in place. Now you're ready to place on the bobber 
and I'm just going to start with the traditional bobber and I'm going to show you how to do it with both. But uh, I'm assuming most of you guys are going to be using this kind of bobber, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to place it on. Now when you're placing on the bobber, it really depends on the depth of, of water you're fishing at. Um, with bobber fishing, usually, uh, depending on where you're, you know the fish are at, you can try it out. You know, pretty much you want the bait floating maybe like two feet under the surface, or maybe you want it like semi in the middle of whatever depth you're at. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this one on randomly. But um, pretty much with these kind of bobbers, you wanna make sure to hold the hook right there down with one, fing one finger, and then you wanna take this hook and push down, and you wanna go ahead and place it onto your line. like so and then you want to run uh, the line down and holding the top of the top hook down pressing down letting this hook come out and you want to wrap it around that hook and then let go and it should stay in place like that and that's how you put on the traditional bobber now with one of these bobbers which I highly suggest anyone watching getting one of these note they're very cheap got this one for a dollar at Walmart and they work wonders Anyways, to place on one of these bobbers, see the spring at the bottom? You want to pull the spring down, and sometimes it can get tricky. And uh, you want to see this like little cut in right here? You want to take the line and uh, place it through that. And what I like to do to keep this from slipping around is I do this twice. So I wrap the line around that, and I run the line into that little cut in twice and let go of the spring and your bobber is now on there securely. Now the finished product should look something like this. You got your bobber going down the line, you got your weight going more down the line, you got your hook and that's where you put on your bait. Recommend worms and uh, yeah that's pretty much it. Hope you guys en enjoyed this how to and I hope you learned something on how to make a really easy bobber fishing rig. And uh, yeah, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and how-tos, and uh, also be sure to comment on what, if you guys want me to make any more videos on how-tos uh, for fishing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video.